today we are going to do an almost full face of first impressions. I recently got my friend Melina to send me a heap of new releases that are of makeup that are only released in America and haven't yet come out here in Australia. Plus I picked up a few other pieces from uh, like Selfridges and stuff, the products that are just released. Essentially I've got a heap of new makeup and I want to play with it and I thought we would just test it together on camera for the first time and you guys can just see my reactions instead of doing like a full dedicated you know formal review sometimes it's fun to just see me testing the makeup for the first time I thought so hopefully that sounds interesting to you guys if it does let's go ahead and do the YouTube things go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe hit that notification bell and let's get into it I'm gonna use Nocturnal Nirvana today I have wanted this quad for ages this is the Pat McGrath Labs Blitz Astral, Astral Quad sorry in Nocturnal Nirvana. It was sold out on the website for so long. One of you guys just randomly commented saying like Nocturnal Nirvana is back. I highly recommend it and I ran and got it and I didn't realize it sold out super quick. So there you go. A few of you guys have said it's disappointing because it doesn't have the gold back and it is smaller pans, which to be honest, I never had the previous Nocturnal Nirvana. So I actually had no idea. But then I just picked up my, I mean, I trusted you guys to be fair, but I did just pick up my Ritualistic Rose, which was, is also part of the Blitz Astral Quartz. And you can definitely tell the pans are smaller in this new one. So I don't really know if it's a cost thing or whatever. To me, does it make a difference? No, I have a lot of eyeshadow, so for me it really doesn't make a difference. And I picked this up in the 30% off sale, so I wasn't like annoyed or anything. I also didn't wasn't expecting anything different because I didn't have the original one. But I am not going to judge you or have an opinion towards you if you feel disappointed that the pants are smaller or anything like that or feel like ripped off or anything. That's you're entitled to your opinion. Let me quickly swatch these on my hand. These are the swatches. I'm gonna try and hopefully that's focusing, I think it is. So they're really pretty, right? Look at that. I think they're gorgeous. That green, but we all know the green is my favorite. The gold is honestly really boring. <laughs> I really could have done with like another color. Like that's boring. Um, and these three are just really spectacular. I will say one of you guys comment, uh, reached out to me on Insta. I won't say who just for privacy reasons, but you guys said that um, you wanted to see me use this purple or this person said they wanted to see me use this purple because theirs was really hard pressed in the pan and whenever they were using it they were just getting like the black base through because this purple is definitely black based so i will use this today i will say mine is not hard pressed at all in the pan if you guys are experiencing that i don't know if you can see it but it really isn't i don't have to press hard at all i would tell you if it was i've primed my lids with the rare beauty eye primer already and I think, so obviously this doesn't have a matte. So I'll just use probably either the mattes out of the Odin's Eye, like C and Flora palettes that I just recently picked up. There's a review of those on my channel as well. I'll, I'm not gonna link it down below. I never remember. It's just on the channel if you wanna see it. <laughs> I'm gonna take my intensifiers. I have really been liking putting my metallics down first before my mattes and we're not gonna change that up. I think it's like the last three videos I've done the same technique for my eyes and I'm still really digging it. Do you need the intensify stick? No. Do I strongly recommend it? Yes. The reason being is if you have hooded eyes, it's going to prevent creasing. If you have Pat McGrath Lab special shades and you don't want any glitter fallout or you just want to minimize it as much as possible, it's going to help with that. It's like a glitter glue, but in a stick, I just find it a lot easier to use. Could you use any form of other glitter glue? Absolutely. You do not have to use this one. It's just my personal favorite. I'm going to take the purple first on a refer number 28, and I'm going to put this to the test. Now, my friend that reached out to me said that they didn't get any purple pigment. So let's see how this goes. I'll try it with a brush first. And if we're getting no luck, we'll use it with a finger. Now, because it has a black base, you're going to want to press and not swipe to get the maximum color. When you do have black bases, it can tend to like, when you swipe metallics with black bases on, it can tend to like remove the color of the top and just leave the black base. So you do just want to press. I mean, well, actually that's, that's fine for me. Oh, sorry. Maybe they got a dud, which for the way that this is performing for me, I am going to assume they did, especially because mine's not hard pressed into the pan. But that looks pretty. Can you see that? That's pretty. 
I've got my little Sigma switch here, so I've just wiped that excess off that brush and I'm gonna go into a little bit of the blue. I have been doing very colorful looks lately because like all of the palettes that I've been buying have been quite colorful, so. We'll get back to some wearable looks lately. Uh, soon, I meant. I'm just gonna tap that in the middle. We'll just, I'm not gonna use the gold, I'm gonna be honest with you, the gold is boring. But we will use all the other, other colors because why not? Uh, that blue is amazing. Wow. I love the blue. Oh, that blue is super nice. Wowee. With the purple, if you laid that purple all over the lid too and press that blue over the top, it would look really beautiful. I've just wiped the excess off that brush again. So same brush, Rubber 28, and I'm gonna go into the green now, which is the shade that I am the most excited about. Oh yep, yeah, that's incredible. Oh goodness me. Look at that. That green is amazing. Oh, that's so beautiful. Honestly, I could probably just throw some mascara on and like call it a day because I don't really need to buff much of this out, but I will just a teensy bit. I might actually just take Dolphin's Tail from the Sea Talk palette. This is the Odin's Eye Cross Lauren May. The mattes in here are really nice. And then I'm just gonna lightly use this shadow to just buff out the edges of that metallic. Nothing crazy and just a really, really soft touch. Gosh, I've been doing a lot of colorful smoky eyes this week. Talk about out of the comfort zone. That's stunning. Very stunning. I'm into it. I'm just gonna take the Victoria Beckham Black Satin Kajal Eyeliner and just pop that on my top waterline. And actually, I might just put a little bit on the top lash line and use the little end to smudge it out. We've really been having makeup fun lately with these colors, haven't we? Let's go ahead and move on to base makeup now. Actually, I'm lying. I'm actually gonna put my YSL Lash Clash Mascara on. So I'm just gonna quickly pop this on my top lashes only. Wow, if you had just experienced what I experienced. So I just was filming this and I had gotten up to powder and uh, let's just say things went horribly wrong and I, need to, I needed to restart. So I'm gonna restart and I'm not going to, so in the original I used this as my primer, this Kosas Glow IV Vitamin and Fizz Skin Enhancer, which looks and feels, like, well, it looks like, sorry, that it would be like the Hollywood Flawless Filter, right? Well, you would be wrong. And look, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. This is just my opinion. Take it with a grain of salt. If you feel differently and you love this product personally, good for you. But I have never hated something more. Now that looks nice, right? But let me tell you, you might not be able to see it and you can't fully see it completely when you swatch this on the hand, interestingly enough. When you put that on the face, it has flecks of glitter, not small flecks. I mean, I'm not talking super chunky, but they're, they're flecks of outright glitter. Look at how aggravated my face is. Like I'm so red and hot from how that product, I really am. When I put this on my face before, I'll put like a little, I'm sure in a very attractive freeze frame of this. Uh, I looked like a shiny greasy disco ball. I had actual glitter. Like you could see the glitter sitting in my pores. It was disgusting. As I'm speaking, I'm gonna take my rose ink primer because I need some hydration. Uh, and I looked foul, like foul. Now my skin is not the best today period like it just isn't and I have triggered like my kind of sensitivity here by having to wash this off and that primer but that primer just made me look like the biggest grease ball and had actual checks flecks of glitter so I don't know if that is a primer that's what I would assume I think it says you can use it as that or like a mixing with your face I just I don't know I don't want that thing anywhere near my face and I don't say that lightly but I don't recommend it. And also, even though that was so greasy and horrible looking on the skin, like this looks greasy right now, right? That's because my skin is like so just sensitive now. It made my skin dry. I had dry patches from it. It didn't feel hydrated. My skin didn't feel good. It was horrible. I hated it. I can't stress it enough. For foundation, we are using this new fancy MAC Studio Fix Everywhere All Over Face Pan. 
base pin, base pen. So it literally is like a pen and it has a little clicky. So you just like, you click the bottom and it brings out the foundation. This is in the shade NC20. I picked it up off Selfridges. It's a little bit dark. It is a little bit dark, but it's fine. I can make it work. And it says it's a natural matte finish. You know, all the fancy claims, long wearing, non-creasing, you know, supposed to do your taxes, make your bed, do your washing, all that kind of stuff. Uh, now, this was a first impressions. I <laughs> tried it before with that horrible primer and it looked actually, it held up well against that primer. It is already immediately looking 10 times better because that primer, as I mentioned, made my skin so dry. I keep calling this a primer. Can we just agree? I don't, I don't think it's naturally just, well, I think it's supposed to be like a foundation or something. Glow all over or wherever you feel it. Use a lone mix or layer with foundation. There you go. It can be used as a primer. I had, I got like dry patches from that primer. And so it was kind of clinging to dry patches. So I guess that tells you if you have dry skin, either really, really hydrate or don't even bother. But it actually held up pretty well compared, considering that primer was so horrible. I've built it up to be quite full coverage, to be fair. So it's definitely looking heavier than it would normally. I just wanted to cover my redness, honestly, and just forget my lows. It's not looking, I've got like little itchy spots from all of the glitter from that Kosas primer. The level of disdain I have for this product. Sorry, sorry, not sorry. I need to put some lip balm on, lip balm break. It is looking 20 million times better than when I use this horrible product. So I actually don't, I'm not mad at it. And I think if I was to use this on a normal day where I hadn't already just like aggressively ruined my skin barrier from this and wasn't just already had the odds pitted against it, I actually think I would really quite like it because I actually don't mind this. Like I'm not hating it. I just would like this area to be a lot smoother, but I don't think it's the foundation's fault. I really don't. I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury color corrector on a Delium Tools 788. Concealer. We have the Urban Decay Stay Naked Quickie Concealer. I got the shade 20NN, which is actually a pretty good match. Mm, this foundation oxidizes and I'm gonna turn really orange because look at the swatch of that or um, foundation on my hand. Can you guys, is that focusing? Can you see how orange that swatch has turned? That explains that much. It's not even funny because I just used this. I'm just, I'm gonna get to this. Okay, well, TBA. Okay, this isn't a first impressions. I've actually been testing this for about, ooh, just on a week now. And because, and the reason why is because you guys had asked me for a review on this foundation, quite a few of you, foundation, concealer. I'm frazzled. You guys had asked me uh, for my thoughts on this concealer when I could get my hands on it and I wanted to give you guys my thoughts today. And my thoughts on this concealer is I actually really, really, really like it. Like really like it. It's smoothing, it's full coverage, it's long wearing. I don't personally have a bad word to say about this concealer, which is impressive for me, right? I'm quite picky on a concealer. It's quite hard for me to find a concealer I like. Like even just with that one layer, don't you think that looks nice? It's impressive. It is full coverage too. This shade is probably a touch too light, but I think if I even went any darker, it would be too dark so I can make this work. I've never used this little blendy blend thing on top. It's too dense for me. I know I won't like it, but you might. You get a lot of product in here. 16.4 mil or 0.55 fluid ounces, which is half a foundation bottle, I think. Oh no. That's, yeah, because it's one fluid out. So just over half a uh, foundation bottle. So a crap load of product. Considering the price of this, I think it was pretty reasonable. And I really like it. But it reminds me of a lighter version of the Tarte Shape Tape. So if you don't like Tarte Shape Tape, you, I don't think you'll like it. And I think if you find the Huda Beauty Concealer too drying for your under eyes, you won't like this either, because it is drier than that. For me, it's fine with my eye cream and everything and like the Charlotte Tilbury color corrector. I find the Charlotte Tilbury color corrector is quite moisturizing. 
So I find it really fine. Um, I'm gonna run this through my T-zone because this foundation is, I can see it darkening. <sighs> this is why I don't do first impressions. I really like this concealer, so happy days. And I don't know why, I just didn't think I was gonna like this concealer. I felt like it was gonna be a dud, but I really like it. I have not seen another person talk about this concealer, so I don't know how other people feel about it, but for me, it's been a really big win. I'm gonna use the LYS Cream Bronzer. I don't have a, a new one for today. Can everyone see my face looking? I don't know how it's turning on camera, but in real life, my face is turning orange. Love that for me. So this foundation, I uh, would tread carefully because, can you see that orange? This foundation oxidizes, you guys. Tread carefully. I'm not gonna do a wear test because it's actually like six o'clock at night right now. I normally film before work, but today I didn't have time, so I'm doing it after work. And, uh, I go to bed like at 7.30, you guys. I mean, I get up between 3 a.m. and 4 a.m., okay? You leave me alone, but I'm an early morning person. So I'm not doing a wear test today, but I'll, I'll keep testing that foundation and I'll give you an update. Don't you worry your pretty little faces. But as of right now, based on the oxidation levels, I'd say tread carefully. Okay, powder. Powder was a journey. And I'm actually relieved to find out, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually relieved to find out this. it's probably this MAC foundation. And I didn't realize it at the time, but now that I've seen that swatch dry on my hand, I am relieved because I picked up the Christian Louboutin powder. And is this the most ridiculous expensive powder I have ever bought in my life? You bet your bottom dollar. Do you need this? Absolutely not. Not going to tell you to do it. The second I saw this on Hey It's Jacqueline, I was like, I need that. Look at it. It's like royalty. I'm not going to tell you to buy this. I'm not even going to tell you the price. It's ludicrous because you have to buy the compact separate and then the product separate. Oh, it's, I'm not telling you anything. This was a very personal decision, but it's amazing. Anyway, I got the shade 15 NC Fair Nude, right? That looks pretty light. And when I swatch this, it doesn't look that dark. When I've put that on my face before with this powder, the level of orange I went, I think I've probably screenshot myself. Look, it even comes with a little brush. Adorable. I'm not going to use it because I think it's this foundation because I can see the orange. The orange. Can you see the orange? Oh, I can see the orange. So I'm going to use this one, which is also a first impressions. Yeah, I know I bought a lot of makeup, okay? Um, this is a judgment free zone. This is the new NARS powder in the shade Cliff, which when I got it, uh, was like, oh, I picked the wrong shade. That's very bright. But I think it's going to come in handy today. So I have swatched this, but I have not used it. So let's give it a go. I think I'm going to have to use like a stark white powder on this foundation just so I don't turn Oompa Loompa. I'll try the Christian Louboutin one in, an, in another video, don't you worry. But I'm going to try it with a foundation that I know and love so that I know if it's the powder that turned me orange or this foundation, but I have a feeling it's probably this foundation, if I'm honest. Okay, well, that actually looks really freaking nice and has almost, like, salvaged this look. Look at how smooth my pores look now. But it's probably a little bit what. So let's do another powder for the rest of my face. Let's use this one. Let's use the Makeup Forever powder. I'm just going to take this fluffy BK104 brush and I'll dip into this. I know you guys want to see this as like a powder foundation on its own. I will. I promise. I was actually going to do it in this video and then the MAC product turned up today. Oh no, maybe it is that powder because now this is fine. I hope it's not that Christian Louboutin powder. It didn't do that to Hey It's Jacqueline. Am I looking the best you've ever seen me? <laughs> I don't have any new brow products. I'm just going to quickly go off camera and do my brows and then we'll come back and finish up. Brows are done. I'm looking a little less crazy, I think. Uh, <laughs> the newest bronzer I have is this uh, Make Beauty Skin Mimetic Micro Suede Bronzer. Um, Australian friends, or actually I think even like UK and Canada and everything friends, you can actually get the Make Beauty blushes and the Make Beauty bronzer and everything, everything except the pressed powder on Revolve now, which is nice. And actually, the blushes and the bronzer I recommend over the uh, powder anyway. I know that you guys probably want to see this. <sighs> I really don't want to put this on as a liquid highlight. I do 
have this one. I picked up the Mar Tarte Maracuja Juicy Glow in Pearlescent Glow Highlighter Stick because uh, Angie Nyquist said that she loves it. And you can only get it from what I've seen on Sephora US. And you can't even get it on the Tarte website, which I thought was super weird. Isn't that pretty? It feels really nice. And I thought I wanted to pick it up. Um, how am I gonna, let's try with, I guess, I never use my finger. That's pretty. That's nice. Let's put a little bit on the sponge. Applicator is probably a little bit annoying, but I still like it. Oh, look at that. That is lovely. All right, I will ruin it. And I'll put this one on the other side just so you guys can see it. Don't say I don't do anything for you. Let's see how this goes as a highlighter. God, the sass has come out because I'm just that off this product. Okay, it looks much better as a concentrated highlighter. I'll give you that. That looks a hell of a lot nicer. I can still see glitter. <laughs> so tread carefully. Do I like it anymore? Absolutely not. Why I would recommend this over this. I know this looks more natural, but in real life, it doesn't. In real life, I can see the glitter chunks, okay? In this looks like a lip from Within Glow, and I just built this up so that it was a lot more blinding. Just a look. If you like this, I am sorry. I'm not meaning to roast you at all. It's just the experience that I personally have had with that product is not pleasant, okay? This is the Too Faced Cloud Crush Blush, Blurring Blush as well. Uh, called Candy Clouds and I picked this up because you guys wanted to see this compared to the Dior one So I am gonna do another this or that video soon comparing all these things This is Candy Clouds, isn't that a cute name? It's very pink. We'll see how this goes. I'm just gonna take this It Cosmetics Angle brush. I am a little bit nervous at how this is gonna, how this is gonna turn out <laughs> It's gonna be like extra pink Oh, yep this might have been a mistake. So, I'm gonna leave that there. That's actually pretty, don't get me wrong. It's probably just not the super right blush for this whole thing. That is actually pretty. I'm gonna finish the lower lash line. I think that's what we're up to. I'm just gonna take the color we put through the crease and run that on the lower lash line. I just pick up a teensy bit of the purple with a little pencil brush and I'll just kind of use that just a small amount here I'm just gonna go into this shadow right here from the flora palette for the inner corner you don't need to use all these palettes guys if you have nocturnal Nirvana and you're following along just pick any shapes in your collection these are just on my desk so shall we try this dry shampoo. Thanks to having to wash my face off and everything. It's been sitting here for like about over an hour now. This is what it looks like. It's a very fancy wand. Ah. Huh. Wow, that's kind of awesome. Look. Can you see that? I hope that's picking up on camera. I like it. I like it so far. Again, I'll keep you updated. But so far, it's a win. I have a lower lash line eyeliner that I want to try, or lower waterline. This is the Too Faced Killer Liner in Killer Camo, and I've been looking for a green like this. See that green? So I thought I would pick it up and we'll give it a go. I don't know if it's going to go with this look, but at this point, who cares? That actually looks kind of cool. It's probably not the perfect shade for this look, but look, it'll do. It is nice. It's exactly the color that I wanted it to be, which was an actual like olive the army green that doesn't turn incredibly dark, which is like all the other ones that I've tried lately. You know what I'm going to use for the lips is Shantikai Tan Body. I'm just going to take some of the posh bikini gloss. This is how we're looking. Listen, it's not crash hot. It's better, but it's not crash hot. So let's zoom out and I'll wrap this up. All right, this is the finished makeup look. The fact that we made it this far, like if you made it this far, 
congratulations. This nocturnal Nirvana quad, beautiful, beautiful in my opinion. Keep in mind I have not tried the original, so to me, the version that I have tried, I'm really impressed. I, I just, no, don't do it. Even, I know some of you are probably curious, don't, just don't. I told you, okay, fair warning. If you like it, I'm really sorry. It's nothing against you, I promise. This, I would wait for more reviews personally before I would pick this MAC stick up or whatever pen, whatever. I will do an updated review. I will try this over the next couple of weeks and I will watch the oxida oxidation, etc., on it. But I can just even tell from my neck. Can you see that? I don't powder my neck, right? It oxidizes. This, I really liked the mascara dry shampoo thing. I actually really, 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 really like this. It's definitely, I feel like I have false lashes on right now. That's nice. This NARS powder, no, I haven't seen anyone talk about this. Do people like this? I like it. So far, it, rede it was the one redeeming quality for pulling this look together from what I've tried so far. It's very stark white. I would recommend if maybe a slightly deeper shade if you're the kind of the same skin tone as me, or if you just want a real brightening powder. But I like it. I like it so far. It was very smoothing. Oh, this is really good. I really, really like this concealer. I highly think it is worth a pick up or a look at. Just keep in mind, it's not super hydrating. So if you like a really, really hydrating under eye concealer, then it's not for you. But if you like the Tarte Shape Tape, you will love this. If you like the Huda Beauty Faux Filter, I think you will like this. Okay. I liked this little blush from Too Faced. It's cute. It's very pink. <laughs> it's very cool tone pink. I think I would probably pick this up in another shade. I only picked it up in this shade because I want to compare it to the Dior. I do feel like I just need a kiss more. <laughs> but I do like it. I think it, I think it, it says blurring and I actually do really like the finish of this on the skin. I think it's cute. I really do. I think it's cute. So if you have your eye on that, I like it. What else do I got in my little box of tricks? This uh, Too Faced eyeliner in camo. I really, really like the shade of this. It's actually just a nice kind of olive khaki green. I like that. I really liked this Tarte Juicy Stick highlighter. I actually really, really liked this. Hasn't li lifted my foundation or anything. It's, it's really, really nice. I think that was all of the products that I tested today. That was new. I will keep you updated on like final thoughts on any of them, you know, as I go along. But uh, what a ride. I have not had a video go like this in such a long, long time. I never really do that many first impressions. I usually know how the products perform before I give them a go. So this was the ride. But hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts down below. I would love to hear from you. And uh, yeah, if you made it to this point, you get an extra pat on the back and an extra you're a massive legend because this was a tough one. If you haven't already, pretty please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. Hell, maybe this one deserves a thumbs down. Oh, I don't know, you do you. And uh, I hope you have the most amazing day, wherever you are in the world, and I will see you next time. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.